Hey boys in MP Cosmo, this is a, uh, an OU Wi-Fi match between me and Archer, who I fought before in a NFB match, and I told him I would want to fight him in OU, because, you know, he's better in OU, so here's that. He's also, uh, he's also an aspiring gangster, so good luck with that, man. Okay, well, he starts with Aerodactyl, which goes down due to my surf. I was surprised that I didn't outspeed my star because, uh, you know, 130 base speed, but turns out he doesn't have a plus speed nature, which was pretty weird, because most of them do. And now he sends out Tyranitar, which is like a major counter to my team. I always have trouble with Tyranitar on uh, Shoddy. But luckily, my Surf here, which I uh, attack with, gets a lucky crit. And even with the crit, it doesn't knock out Tyranitar, which shows how much of a beast Tyranitar is in Sandstorm. Crit, super effective, but stab too, but no KO. He crunches, which knocks out my Starmie, or would knock out my Starmie, except I have a Focus Sash. But, you know, in Sandstorm, Focus Sashes are useless. So the Sandstorm uh, knocks out my Starmie, and yeah. So now I'm thinking, what can I do to knock out this Tyranitar really quick? And luckily, I have a priority move, uh, Metagross, which has Bullet Punch. I used over uh, Meteor Mash. This Metagross does not have Meteor Mash. Yeah, it's... it's I don't know if, if that was a good idea or not, but I chose a uh, type advantage over raw power. And Steel isn't really a, a, great, of, uh, a great offensive type anyways, so... Okay, well now, well now he sends up Hippowdon, which is the other great counter to my team that I also have sh much trouble on. Much trouble with on Shoddy. Also Swamper too. Must be all these uh, bulky physical ground types, which is why I, I exchanged um, I exchanged Thunderbolt for gr Energy Ball on my Gengar here. And uh, he placed some EVs in Special Defense, so my Energy Ball here actually does not knock it out, which was uh, pretty annoying. Also, this Gengar is timid, not modest. Or no, it's hasty because it has Focus Punch too. Uh, not modest, so. I don't know, I chose speed over power, which uh, I think was a wise choice, so we outspeed modest Gengars that don't have choice scarfs and stuff. Okay, so now Hippowdon has a curse, right? Plus uh, attack, plus defense. So I send up my Metagross, which I um, I know will help speed it. And um, I try to not knock it out with Earthquake here. But Hippowdon is just a defensive beast, and it survives even with like like a fourth of its HP left. And he Earthquakes back, and I was like, No, no, Metagross! You can't leave me! But I just remembered that he had a Shuckaberry on, which, uh, which um, I was reminded by the animation. The weird little bouncing animation. And now Metagross is uh, now able to knock, knock out Hippowdon with his own Earthquake. And I have to be honest, I was actually not sure if it would knock it out, because it didn't do that much last time, but I don't know. I mean, obviously, it would have knocked it out because it had, like, had, like, an eighth or something of his HP left, but, I don't know. Some random fears. Okay, well, he sends out Lucario, and I'm thinking it's a physical Lucario, because most of them are. Swords Dance, physical Lucario, and I was thinking it, it might pack Earthquake, so I switched to uh, Salamence to avoid it and lower its attack, so if it had Stone Edge, it wouldn't knock out my, um, uh, Salamence. But it turns out it's a special Lucario and it dark pulses for some reason. And doesn't do that much to uh, Salamence, but because of the sandstorm, it's gonna two it, KO it, so I have to knock it out. I can't, uh, I can't Dragon Dance up here. And plus, he probably had drag uh, yeah, Dragon Pulse too, so... Because if you're a special Lucario, you have to pack Dragon Pulse to knock out those Salamances. Okay, well, Earthquake knocks out Lucario pretty easily. One hit KO. Uh, Sandstorm rages, knocks out some more HP of mine. Always annoying. Now he sends in his own Salamance, which lowers my Salamance's attack. Um, I could have stayed in and dra Dragon Clawed, but probably wouldn't have done much because of the Intimidate. So I switch out to Registeel, predicting a Dragon Claw, which works out pretty well because he does Dragon Claw. But he does get a crit also. But it still didn't do that much, because Registeel is also a defensive beast. 
Okay, so now I'm thinking that he's gonna Earthquake now, so I just go for the Thunder Wave, so um, I'll be faster next turn. And then I set up Stealth Rock, and then he kills me. But he actually Dragon Dances up, which is good for me, because now I can get a free Thunder Wave in, and get Stealth Rock in, and I know that Earthquake wouldn't knock me out, uh, seeing how much a crit, a critical uh, Earth Dragon Claw did. So, let's see, but he actually Dragon Claws instead of Earthquake, which is pretty weird. There we go, Dragon Claw. Doesn't do that much. So, Stealth Rock is up. Registeel has done his job, so I just... I just do what all the Registeels do, and, uh... I, I blow up. I blow up like a terrorist and take everyone with me. Unfortunately, I don't get 72 virgins, and... The only reward for my sacrifice is knocking out a Salamance, which is... Just fine for me. That's what I need in this battle. So Salamance goes down. Registeel goes down goes to heaven, meets a law, and Sandstorm rages. Okay. Um, he sends out his Raichu, which is his last Pokemon, and I send out my Blissey, which um, I thought was a safe switch, and, and you know, it usually is. It has massive HP. So his Raichu gets a Brick Break in, Brick Breaks my uh, Blissey, and I thought it was going to knock me out here, because it did an unusual amount of damage. But turns out he got a crit. So, yeah. I Thunder Wave him. Which cripples his Raichu pretty bad. And it also lets my, uh, my remaining two uh, Pokemon knock him out, which are, um, which are uh, Metagross and Salamence. Both at very low HP, so if Raichu wasn't paralyzed, they could prob he could probably knock out both of them. So, being able to paralyze and cripple Raichu was pretty cr uh, crucial. And, uh,. What I do here is I soft boiled for some reason, and he brick breaks me. And looking back at it, I should have just switched to Metagross or Salamence because Metagross has super high H, um, uh, defense, and Salamence has resistance to brick break and the intimidate. So yeah, I probably should have just switched in one of them and earthquaked, but I decide to uh, soft boiled. I don't know, maybe I had some subconscious vendetta against him and I wanted to make him suffer, or something. Was he one of the people who voted to ban Ninjask? Yeah, I think he was, that might be it. Okay, so well, anyways, back to the narration. He brick breaks here and uh, doesn't go below half. So here is where I feel sw uh, safe to switch in Metagross or Salamance. And I probably should have done that like a few minutes ago, a minute ago and end the battle quicker. But then again, you know, suffering is good. I send in Metagross, he brick breaks, does does nothing, because Metagross has beastly HP, or, goddammit, defense, and I guess HP too, because I invested quite a bit in HP. Okay, Metagross earthquakes, Raichu is almost at uh, half HP because of the sandstorm, but it doesn't matter because Earthquake would have knocked him out anyways. And that's the end of the battle. Good game, Archer. You are definitely better in OU than you are in uh, NFE, so yeah, good game.